So I want to make a video discussing the likelihood that Errol Spence ends up leapfrogging the entire 154-pound division and gets a title shot versus Sebastian Fundora. I want to discuss my thoughts on all of it, who I believe should be getting the shot instead, and just my overall assessment of the entire situation. So we all saw the pay-per-view between Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora. It was supposed to be Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman got injured. Fundora was supposed to be fighting Serhii Bohachuk. Instead, they ended up promoting Fundora and giving him the Tim Zhu opportunity. That fight ended up being a fight for two of the titles, not just the WBO, but the WBC also got involved, and it became a fight for the WBO and the WBC titles. Fundora pulled off the split decision victory. It was a pretty close fight. I actually thought Tim Zhu nicked it personally, but I understand if people thought Fundora won. I felt Zhu landed cleaner, harder shots, and he, he landed more power shots throughout the fight and only got slightly outworked with total punches, but Tim Zhu's shots were harder and heavier anyways and cleaner. But I understand if you thought Fundora won. I think a lot of people and the judges were blinded by the blood, and because they saw how much blood was coming from Tim Zhu, they just assumed that he was getting outworked, outfought. I understand if you thought <coughs> Fundora won, but it was a much closer fight than the announcers were making it seem. I'm not going to deny that part. So now, after all this, after Fundora gets the job done, they announced that Errol Spence is going to come to the ring and they're going to build up a fight with Sebastian Fundora and Errol Spence. Now, I have a problem with this. I have a genuine issue with this fight possibly happening, and I'm going to give you a few reasons why. Now, first of all, before we even break down why Spence shouldn't be getting this shot, I think we need to discuss the fighters that definitely deserve the shot, specifically Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu deserves an automatic rematch without a doubt. And I think the fact that he's not getting one is very unfortunate. He might still get one, but it's unlikely. It seems like even if it's not Spence, the other guy who I'm going to talk about in a second, Terrence Crawford, will get it over Tim Zhu. But first of all, it should be a Tim Zhu rematch. In a fair world, what we get is Fundora versus Tim Zhu rematch, and we get Errol Spence versus Erickson, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know why it keeps happening, Erickson Lubin. Obviously, I also want to see Lubin rematch my boy Jesus Ramos, but that may not happen. So let's get Spence versus Lubin then, and let Crawford wait for the winner of the rematch of Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundora, because Tim Zhu 100% deserves a rematch. Now, people are going to break down and discuss the elbow that caused the cut on the top of the head of Tim Zhu. Now, I'm not going to deny the fact that it is not Sebastian Fundora's fault. It's not Sebastian Fundora's fault that Tim Zhu got cut. It was a freak accident. If anyone gets to blame, it's obviously Tim Zhu as he leaned his head to Fundora. However, even though it is not Sebastian Fundora's fault, it was still something that was out of Tim Zhu's control pretty much. Obviously, you can argue that he leaned into the elbow, but it was a freak accident. We'll say that much. And even then, Tim Zhu still arguably beat Sebastian Fundora. He was a champion, a reigning champ. I don't know if he was a reigning champion. I forgot, but he was considered a number one or number one two, number two guy in division. He was a number one guy in division right now because Jermel Charlo is in recess. Terrence Crawford and Spence haven't fought here yet. So Tim Zhu was the guy of the weight class. Fundora squeaks out a split decision against a Tim Zhu that was profusely bleeding for 10 of the 12 rounds of the fight. Tim Zhu deserves an automatic rematch. I think we all know what will happen in that bout. Tim Zhu will defeat Fundora in the rematch. Maybe by stoppage, maybe not. Probably by, I think I'm going to go with Zhu by stoppage if they do rematch. Because I know Tim Zhu is a warrior. He's a gladiator. He has that killer mentality, that Mamba mentality that Kobe Bryant had in basketball where... He will make a statement in that rematch and defeat Sebastian Fundora by stoppage, in my opinion. So Tim Zhu obviously deserves that fight over Errol Spence, and Terrence Crawford literally beat Errol Spence to a pulp back in July. He absolutely dog-walked him, dominated him, battered him. There's no way, if Terrence Crawford wants that Fundora fight, the only guy that has a say to get it over Crawford would be Tim Zhu. Errol Spence cannot get that fight over Terrence Crawford. If Crawford wants it, he's getting it over Spence. That's a guarantee. At least that's how the sport should be. Spence just got battered by Crawford. He's done nothing since July. He's been on the shelf. He's been on the couch watching the sport of boxing for nearly a year straight, doing absolutely nothing for the sport, and now he wants to come back and get a free title shot? Come on. Now, if he gave Crawford a great effort, lost a competitive fight to Terrence Crawford, we could make the case that, yeah, Spence still is a great fighter and deserves that fight, but he didn't just lose to Crawford. He got absolutely destroyed. I mean, it was deja vu of Wilder and Fury too. It was that type of beatdown, and the fact that he's trying to leapfrog the man who literally gave him the biggest beating I've seen in years in boxing is absolutely shocking and, and says a lot about the sport of boxing. If any MMA fan slash UFC fan is watching this video, if you want an, an example, if you want almost a situation that's comparable to this, we can look at a situation like 
now I can't now I can't think. I was gonna give a perfect example for MMA, UFC, that represents this scenario, but it's really just a scenario where a guy fought his rival, got dominated, and moves up in weight and gets the big fight over the guy that just dominated him. I think that's clearly unfair and unjust in the sport of boxing. Now, as I said, I still want Tim Zhu to get the rematch over Terrence Crawford. I want Crawford to wait a little longer anyways. Let Crawford fight someone in the meantime if he needs to stay active. Maybe even a grudge match of Jermel Charlo if somehow he could get Jermel Charlo back in the ring. But it should be Tim Zhu getting the rematch, guys. I think we all should objectively see this. If you look at the comments on the posts of the fight, everyone, not just Australians, like people are making you believe, people are pretending is, everyone is clamoring for Tim Zhu to get that shot, get that opportunity back. Everyone's upset about how the fight played out. It was really not necessarily unfair to Tim Zhu, but it was a terrible spot to be in. And it was unfair to Tim Zhu, and it's not Fundora's fault. It's just the way things played out. But the fact that Tim Zhu still nearly won the fight is tremendous, guys. I mean, you guys got to give the guy his, his props. He couldn't see. He lost so much blood. He kept pushing forward. And I know Sebastian Vendora lost blood too, but his broken <clears throat> his broken or bloody nose was caused by punches, not by a headbutt or an elbow. So let Tim Zhu get the rematch before anything. Let Terrence Crawford wait, at, wait as he's been doing and let Errol Spence fight someone and earn a big fight. Why would Errol Spence get a free... I know Spence had a nice little run at welterweight, he was a pound-for-pound -pound level fighter. He had some good wins. He was unified. But this guy just got absolutely destroyed. He does not leapfrog the guy who beat him or leapfrog the previous champion who deserves an immediate rematch. He doesn't. And it's a bad look for PBC. It's a bad look for Errol Spence. This is absolutely embarrassing. It's a terrible look for the sport in general. I think this is a black eye in the sport if Errol Spence gets to leapfrog Tim Zhu and Terrence Crawford. Even Erickson Lubin deserves a title shot, in my opinion, more then Errol Spence, at least Erickson Lubin beat Jesus Ramos, who is a very respectable name at 154. So let's hope that Errol Spence does not get that fight. Let's hope it's either Zhu or Crawford. Ideally, Tim Zhu, but if it's not Tim Zhu, it has to be Terrence Crawford. The WBO actually just ordered it to be Terrence Crawford. So shout out to the, to the WBO. Even though they should have ordered a Zhu rematch, I don't even know if, if sanctioning bodies are allowed to order rematches. So good on them for not allowing it to be Errol Spence. I mean, it, it could still be Fundora versus Spence, but just for the WBC. If that's the case, that's a very weak look as well. It's absolutely embarrassing how salty the PBC and Al Heyman and all of them have been for, towards Terrence Crawford for beating their boy Errol Spence. This isn't an anti-PBC video. This isn't an anti-Showtime video, but this is clearly a bad look on them. I give them credit when they do right, when they make the right calls in the sport, but in this particular situation, this is very bad on their end, very poor for the sport, and I really hope it doesn't end up happening. I hope we get the Tim Zhu rematch or at least Terrence Crawford. You cannot, guys, it's common sense. You cannot be coming off a dominant loss, moving up in a, move up a weight class and get a free title shot for unified belts. That's just not how the sport works. It's a terrible look. It's very unfortunate. Let's hope it doesn't happen. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. I'll see you guys later. Peace.